We don't really need to see ourselves. Okay, so we're going to be looking at bubble print. Hang on. Does the timer go? It's working. Yeah, yeah. Um, what we need for this demonstration is bubble mix. So we'll make up the bubble mix with three cups of dishing, dishwashing detergent, seven cups of warm water, and a cup of glycerol or sugar, acrylic paint, a saucer or a, pla a plate, some paper, and a straw or a bubble wand. Um, some things that we need to think about for safety considerations uh, include safety goggles for everyone who is doing the task to make sure you get any bubble mixture into their eyes, any paint, and aprons. Um, yeah, aprons for anyone who's doing the demonstration to make sure they don't get paint on them, mm -hmm. to make sure the children don't swallow the pe bubble mixture when they're blowing it in, yeah. blowing in, rather than yeah. yep. That they blow out rather than breathe yeah, in. Yeah, that. <laughs> um, and small groups around the table at a time to ensure that they all have space to watch and they don't trample on each other. Um, what they actually have to do is, so set up, we need to have a set up, our class up prior. We need our demonstration print already set up so we can show them what we're going to, the children what we're going to do. Um, have the bubble mix prepared and have the room set up with the bubble mix placed in a saucer at a table in the middle of the class or at the front and have all the children prepared with safety goggles and aprons. Um, to actually take part in this demonstration what you have to do is have the bubble mix set up add two parts of bubble mix to one part of paint and saucer then grab your straw or bubble wand and gently start blowing the bubbles in the saucer, just as Mel is doing now. Okay, so when the saucer is full of all the bubbles, that looks cool. It's better if you put the straw all the way in to the mixture. There we yep. go. So now there's lots of bubbles. Okay, so while it's full of bubbles, Get your piece of paper, place it on top, and lift it. No, do it again. I think I could be the bubbles were too small by then. Or maybe the paint isn't. Try it now. So it's hard to see on this one. What we'll need to do for next time is put more paint. I don't think I put enough paint in there. But you can see all the lines from where the bubbles meet. Yeah. So bubbles aren't always like at the moment. If Amanda blows one bubble, it's a sphere. But when they press against each other, they sh and they share a wall, you'll see that the bubble is no longer a sphere. Um, if the bubbles are the same size, then the wall will be flat. Whereas if one is smaller and one is bigger, then the smaller one will bulge into the, the bigger bubble. For lots of bubbles to fit closely together, they stack together like hexagons, which, do you want to have another try? Sorry. Stack together like hexagons. Uh, hexagons are six-sided too. Um, and this, the reason why they're hexagons is because they stack really nicely and there's hardly any gaps in the spaces. See that. Um, it's it's good. You can see it now while the bubbles are still forming, but as they pop, it's a bit harder and it's a bit harder to see. So that's why doing the print is really good because you can actually see the outline of the bubble lines. Um, when you have a print of four or more bubbles together, you can see how the bubbles press against each other to best fill the space. The angles between the bubbles are approximately 120 degrees, and this is the same as the angle between two sides of a hexagon. That's oh, if you wanted to extend on this, um, uh, in terms of the shape of the bubble, um, before we said that they come out as spheres, you could use a <laughs> use a part cleaner to create a, a shape, maybe a star or a, a square, and um, ask the children to predict what shape the bubble will come out as. Um, for your reference, the bubbles are always round. 
the skin of the suit will always try to take up the least amount of the, space, of the surface area while keeping the air inside. The soap molecules will always stretch into a round shape as that takes up less space than a square shape. Okay. And that's it. Thanks. Thanks.